Let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the Neptune. At the moment, uh, Finian's Oscar and Neon Wolf are generally sharing favoritism. You want to listen up here because, because Joe Tizard, Joe Tizard is responsible for Finian's Oscar. Rich Ritchie was the underbidder. Rich, why didn't you bid more and buy Finian's Oscar? You've missed out on a grade one winner. It's, it's interesting. Um, to be completely honest, Willie couldn't have the horse. Willie, Willie didn't think it was worth the money, and for whatever reason, he just thought that the, uh, the price got carried away. We actually bid higher than he wanted to bid for the horse. And um, I, I, whether it was the confirmation of the horse, the breeding horse, whatever it was, Willie thought the horse was overpriced. Now, that being said, obviously the Tizards have done a brilliant job with it, and these things happen. It's one person's opinion versus another, but that's, that's the reason why. How good is he, Joe? Oh, he's good. Um, I kind of tend to agree with Willie that, that an Irish point-to-point -point winner, the, the price has gone crazy on them. Um, they win one point-to-point -point as a four-year-old, and the trade's got carried away. But that's, that's by the by. He's, um, he's, he's a very, very nice horse. Every, ever since the day we had him back, he's very professional. He does everything you ask for him. We kind of threw him in the deep end in the Tollworth, to be honest. We ran him in a grade run on his second start for us. Um, got away with it over two miles because it was very soft and it was around Sandown. But um, he's a lovely horse, and um, I was interested. In they were going to offer a... It was lucky it was placed because I, I think a great deal of this horse, and he's probably the nicest novice we've had coming through. There we are, the nicest novice they've ever had, Finian's Oscar. Uh, what's your biggest danger, do you think, Paul? Uh, Joe, sorry. I agree, Neon Wolf. He looks, looked hugely impressive for Haydock last time. He's unbeaten. We were sat with Noel Feely two nights ago in... Um, and, and couldn't loves, have been more bullish, could he? No, he couldn't. Um, so he's a big threat and a gorgeous horse as well. Keels? Yeah, I, I, I think the thing about the novice herders this year is we haven't seen many really, really good ones. And I think Neon Wolf looked really, really good at Haydock. Uh, he's going to appreciate the step up in trip as well. Um, I think he's going to be very, very hard to beat. I am totally against Finian's Oscar. I think he's a nice horse. I think he's probably a stayer of the future, but I don't think that toll with hurdle form is any good at all. Uh, Capitan got absolutely thrashed out of sight at, uh, at Kempton the other day. Um, and I think Finian's Oscar is going to be a big drifter on the day. If you do fancy him, wait, he, he, will, he will drift. Um, I would back, I would back Richie's horse, Let's Dance, if she, if she should run in the race. Uh, I, think she's, I think she probably is the best of uh, William Island's novice herders. Uh, I was really, really impressed with her last time, and I will back her wherever she runs, whatever it's against. And this is quite an important point, because in any normal circumstances, Rich might run Let's Dance in the Neptune. But, Rich, there's an obvious reason for you not running her in the Neptune and running her in something that we think might be easier, like the Mayor's Novices Hurdle, because... Yes, very generously, a law firm in the UK called Lacey Partners have they sponsored a race on the 29th of January at Leopardstown. And if the horse that won that race goes on to win any race at uh, Cheltenham, um, it's not connections that, who normally benefit from these, these um, uh, initiatives. It's the stable staff who would get 50,000 euros, which is a lot of money. That would be likely, you know, that would be most of 1,000 pounds to each of them. So, that will, that, of course, that would factor in our mind. We'd love to see them win it. But let's dance. If she runs in this race, uh, I'm with Paul. I think she'd go very close. Um, but I'm, I'm with Neon Wolf. I think he's very impressive. Best form by far of Woody's horses. I say it's Bacardi's. We might have something in here called Montebano at a huge price. That might Any run good? well. Any good? Not bad. Might run well. It would, it's run, run twice. Montalbano, yes. Montalbano. Be a big price. Might sneak into the frame. All right, let's. Uh...